Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. All right, um, this video is going to be about um, uh, creativity and lateral thinking. Basically, um, I'm going to discuss the concept of um, lateral thinking and creativity from the aspects of um, generating new and useful ideas which can help us um, create a side hustle, for example, a YouTube channel. They can help us create a business, a new business idea in an area which we have not explored before. And it might help us also create um, a new method of thinking to change our lives. Basically, um, a, bit of, um, a bit of a time ago, I read a book called Lateral Thinking by Edward de Bono, who, by the way, was a Maltese physician and doctor and now lives in the USA. He wrote about um, the way in which our mind thinks and generates ideas. We tend, as humans, to generate assumptions about reality and take reality for granted. For example, we take our food, our breakfast, our commuting to work for granted as a part of normal existence. We take our job that we hate as part of our normality, if you wish, okay? However, that is not the case. Okay, um, creativity and innovation is basically a simple way in which we can explore our feelings and our ideas by questioning okay, the normality of traditional thinking systems. Okay? What are traditional thinking systems? Traditional thinking systems are systems that tend to be vertical. They, can, they tend to be um, a step-by-step type of thinking, they tend to be non-flexible thinking systems, and they tend to be ingrained within our education. Society basically gives us an education from where we are kids, and they feed us information, okay, that we have to memorize, we have to memorize and basically um, spit out in exams or utilize this information we have limited as much as it can be in our daily life and therefore that's why most of society has problems because a lot of people follow norms they follow into the idea that hey you know being poor having five kids and living on government subsidies is okay you know why should i bother about you know learning something new why should i bother studying on my laptop you know learning coding for example and doing something else you know i studied i went to school I'm now 31, 32, I'm 33, I'm 25, you know, I have a job, I work as a, uh, as a mechanic, I work as a cleaner, I don't get paid a lot, you know, I'm happy, but I get uh, low pay and I, I cannot afford to maintain my family, you know, my friends are getting married and you know what, why, why should I bother, you know, I mean, now it's time that I stop um, trying in life and just accepting reality. In, in reality, what the book um, tries to explain is that we humans have an ingrained ability the, of finding patterns okay, in, uh, in reality. Our mind, our brain, although we are ingrained in one area of our lives, for example in our job, we are pilots, we are doctors, we are pharmacists, we are mechanics, okay, we are businessmen, Although we are living in a particular system or fashion, we can always find a new pattern and a new way of living our life. Basically by exploring a new concept. And concepts happen all the time, all right? The generation of ideas happens all the time because our brain is a pattern-seeking organ. It tends to find patterns, it tends to come up with ideas, and one should try always to explore those ideas. A great example is that imagine you run a business in a country whose thinking system is based on traditional, um, traditional thinking. For example, you're trying to open a new business like a ramen shop in Sicily or in Naples and all the businesses around you are based on pizza, pasta, and uh, wine and you know um, uh, cheese outlets so you're you're a new guy you're saying okay you know what i like asian food 
I think we don't have a ramen shop in this city, so why don't I open a ramen shop amongst all of these, you know, pizza places, okay? Your first assumption is that you're gonna fail. You're not gonna make any money from this idea, from this new concept. However, if you explore the idea further, more in a deep way, for example, looking at the costs involved, um, the profitability, by taking surveys, doing some market research, you will find that actually there is a niche for this idea, for this concept. Although it's a new area, okay, in a city where there is nothing like it, there might be a niche and you might be lucky to exploit that niche. Therefore, the idea of creation of businesses, all right, stems from a thinking process. The thinking process is a creative one and doesn't follow a stepwise manner of thinking. Most of the times, we as humans tend to fall within the box. Okay? What is the box? The box isn't a physical box, it isn't a place with a physical boundary, but however, it is a boundary within ourselves. It's a boundary created by our thinking, by our mind. It is not a biological boundary of the human brain, but it is rather a thinking system. Okay? What, what does this mean? It means that many people tend to fall into thinking patterns which are not their own. And they tend to fall into types of work or into types of lifestyles that don't fit their ten, um, they don't tend to fit their ideology. Many people feel unfulfilled and they feel trapped within a society or within the country they live in. So how can you make sure that the ideas you have um, are going to actually, you know, challenge your vertical thinking system? Basically, um, when we come up with new ideas, in order for us to see whether this idea actually makes sense or not, is to either um, think about the traditional way of thinking and compare it to your new idea and see the positives and the negatives and then after evaluating your new concept you can go ahead and experiment or else um, what we can do is using information not as a form of memorization but as a form of investigation as a form of research into exploring our new type of creative thinking. Once, once we gather a, a large amount of information we can use to our own benefit, then we can explore the idea further. Basically, what creative thinking and lateral thinking is, is a form of entrepreneurship. It's whereby, instead of using information as a, as a form of memorization to use in a system which has already been created for us, we use information in such a way that with that information we create new ideas and new concepts. Okay, and from these ideas we conflict the old thinking systems and eventually create our own new thinking system or else we challenge the old system and we try to change that system all right, into a new pattern. Another example I would give you is imagine you as a doctor, you run a surgical outpatients clinic. You have a waiting list and your hospital has a variety of SOPs, standard operating procedures and protocols to deal with the waiting list and how to deal with patients, okay, entering and exiting the operations, all right? However, you have a big time constraint and the outpatient list is too great to deal with. So what do you do? Many traditional doctors would just accept the established standard operating procedures, download them, okay, and apply them to their clinic, okay? However, with the creative process, thinking system, you try to find the shortcomings you analyze those shortcomings, you then gather as much information as you can from your patients, you prioritize your patients, 
okay, and try to find a new solution okay, to reduce that waiting list, thereby safeguarding the patient's health and reducing your waiting times and therefore making the system more fluid and more functional. So basically, um, our talk on creative thinking comes to an end. Um, I am also writing a blog with regards to um, various healthcare topics and also about productivity and uh, creative thinking. And I would also um, advise that if you have time, um, try to download the book by Edward De Bono on lateral thinking. I think it's a really good read and it's a way of exploring our our reality in a more deeper way and therefore not always accepting assumptions about reality. Again, we should not accept assumptions about our daily living and we should also challenge um, our thinking systems in order to improve our lives, okay, and maybe come up with a new um, type of um, idea or hustle or business or entrepreneurial um, venture. Okay guys, um, that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel. I'm still new. I'm going to try um, in future to make more videos um, about interesting topics um, related to healthcare productivity. And uh, also, as I said before, I'm also interested in languages. Okay, thank you guys again, once again. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Cheers.